Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Venice. I hope everyone's doing great. Today I want to share with you three fragrances that I'm currently picking up because the temperatures in Southern California are, are like summer temperatures. It's been really hot and very humid lately. And during that time, I tend to wear fresher fragrances, maybe fragrances that have some tropical notes, fragrances that don't like last on my skin that long because I like to take multiple showers during hot temperature days where it's very humid outside. And those three fragrances I want to share with you are the Flanker Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. No, like, well, this, well, I don't feel like this needs any introduction. You already see the little daisy, little plastic flowers on the top. You already know what this is. This is no other than Daisy Mark Jacobs or um, Mark Jacobs Daisy. And then last but not least, we have um, Olympia by Paco Rabanne. The thing I love about these fragrances is that during the summertime when I'm perspiring or anything like that, these fragrances do not turn sour on me and they do not stink. There's sometimes fragrances that you could wear during the summertime and you're perspiring and they tend to turn a little sour on you or they start to stink mixing with your uh, body sweat and all that stuff like that. But these ones don't do that. The only thing I will say, the d d downside, but it's okay, because you can always reapply, is that these fragrances don't have the greatest longevity on my skin. I would say this one lasts for about four hours on my skin. This one lasts about four hours on my skin as well. This is the only one that actually has a pretty good longevity on my skin. This could last for six to eight, six to seven hours on my skin. But I have no problem at all real wanting to like to reapply any of these fragrances or anything like that. Okay, so let's go over Dolce Cabana Light Blue Sun. This one to me is absolutely beautiful um, because of the coconut note that's in there. And there's a frangipani note in there as well that gives it like a tropical feel and vibe to me. I am a tropical girl. I'm Haitian. So I tend to like tropical scents, especially during the summertime, you know. This fragrance is really beautiful. It smells really good. It has the DNA of light blue, obviously. So let's go over some of the notes. We have lemon, we have coconut nectar, we have ozonic notes, we have Granny Smith apple. I love that note. We have frangipani, jasmine, white rose, cedar, white musk, ambergris, and bourbon vanilla. The bourbon vanilla is really gives it really that creaminess to it. And the ambergris give it, gives it a little bit of that, like, uh, I would say ocean uh, vibe to it, scent, you know. Um, it's just very clean. It's, like, not too overbearing, not too strong. Like, this is a scent that I feel like if you wanted to, you could wear this scent year-round. But I feel like it's a scent that's perfect for summertime. Or if you're going on a vacation during, you know, or going to a hotter climate during the summertime or any time. Um, this scent would be a, the go-to scent, you know. Um, I picked this up at a discounted store. And you know the funny thing about it, even though the, the this is a flanker, I got it for a really good price. And um, the original uh, light blue still was up there um, like $50, $50 like at Ross. And it was for like a 1.7 fluid ounce. No, no. I think for the 1.7 fluid ounce, it was like $40 or $30. And then for the 3.4 fluid ounce, it was like 50 or $60. It's just crazy to me that still to this day, light blue, like it's still up there in price, even at a discounted store. But anyways, yeah, so this one I picked it for like 30 bucks. It has that DNA of the, like the light blue and I absolutely love it. I'm happy I have it in my collection. It smells amazing and I have no issues of reapplying this scent. So the next one I want to talk to you guys about is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This fragrance has been around for a while. Everyone talks about this fragrance. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people say it's boring. But I feel during the summertime, this fragrance is absolutely perfect for, for me during the summertime because it lasts for like four hours on my skin. I have no problems of reapplying. It makes me feel fresh. It doesn't make me feel sticky or anything like that. Um, it's just a really pretty decent fragrance. It's non it's it's non offensive to anyone. This scent I do feel like you can wear year round. It's a well known scent. You won't smell unique or anything like that because it's a well known scent. But it's beautiful during the summertime. Like you know, very airy. Like you know. So let's go over some of the notes. So we have violet uh, leaf. 
We have uh, blood, grapefruit, strawberries. We have um, violet, again, we have gardenia, jasmine, musk, white wood, um, and vanilla. Um, there's not like a whole lot to say about this one. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this one smells like. Either, like I said to you, you love it or hate it. I love it. Especially during the summertime. So that's Daisy by Marc Jacob. So last but not least, we have Olympia by Paco Rabanne. I absolutely love this fragrance. This fragrance, I like to wear during the summertime as well. It's very, it's a very unique scent. It has that aquatic note uh, because of the ambergris and then the salts. Um, this fragrance lasts on my skin six, I would say six to seven hours. And it's just really nice during the summertime. I do feel like this fragrance, I really do feel like all three of these fragrances you could wear year round if you wanted to. You know, um, I do feel like in the summertime, these fragrances would be more preferable in my opinion. But you do what you do you, and if you want to wear them all year round or whatever, you definitely can do that. And, um, yeah, this one I purchased from, this fragrance is actually hard for me to find. Like, I wasn't able to find this fragrance. Um, I think I did go online, and I don't think I, like, I went to the actual website, and I don't think this one was showing. I could be wrong, or maybe there was, at that time, it was low in stock or whatever. But this one was hard for me to find. I actually bought this from Macari. Um, and this was like a tester from someone, uh, from some fragrance, um, company that I, um, that I'm not following on Macari and I bought this and I'm actually absolutely happy that I have it in my collection because I was looking for this forever. I did see this at, uh, T TJ Maxx, like a few years back, but I never thought of like buying it, but I regret it now because like I had to like it was like a hustle for me to like get this fragrance. Like I just kept like looking and looking to see like and making sure it was legit and this and that or whatever. Cause I really, I would prefer to just pay full price and know that I'm getting an item that is real than, you know, a knockoff or, you know, anything like that. But this, let's go over some of the notes of this fragrance. So we have a uh, white Jasmine, we have green Mandarin, ginger. We have that cool salty note that gives it that aqu aquatic feel to it. Vanilla, the cashmere wood, ambergris, once again, gives it that aquatic note. And then you have sandalwood. Um, like I said in my previous video, the Pure XS that I have, I feel like it has DNA of the Olympia. Um, you have to smell it for you could see what I'm talking about, but I feel like it does have that DNA. Um, but this one is very pretty. Like, it's a very pretty scent. I do feel like um, this has been around for a little bit, so a lot of people know this, this scent, but it's something that's very enjoyable not offensive at all, um, not um, too in your face or anything like that. It's just a really pretty scent, um, and I'm, I'm absolutely happy to have it in my collection. I do love this. Out of these three fragrances, I do enjoy this one quite a bit. As you can tell, I'm like almost halfway there with this bottle. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't wait for the summertime, you know. I do, like I said before, like I can't wait to go to the beach and try out these fragrances and um, yeah, you know, go um, hit, hit the sand, hit the water, maybe be somewhere in a tropical climate. That'd be great. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like my, um, my videos or anything like that, if you like the content that I'm bringing to you guys, please like, share and subscribe. And make sure you check out any of my other previous videos. And if you like, um, put a comment down below if you have any of these fragrances in your collection. Or if you know of any cool like scents that you think I should try out during summertime or during hot uh, temperatures or, you know, where it's, uh, where it's high humidity or anything like that, let me know down below. And I'll definitely see if I could get my hands on any of those goodies. Until I see you guys in another uh, video, uh, take care of yourselves, you know, be responsible. And I know that a lot of people have been vaccinated and eventually things are going to get back to normal. I just can't really, I can't wait. Um, I don't really even mind wearing my mask because I noticed since I've been wearing my mask, I've not gotten sick. You know, normally sometimes I would get a common cold. And for this year, for this year and a half, like I haven't gotten a common cold or anything like that. Um, but anyways, I will talk to you guys soon in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.